welcome, this is MDog, and uh, we're going to do a quick video here on a game that was released today. It has been in early access, uh, been, test, been in the testing process, alpha and beta stage, and now I believe it's been released on Steam as of January 31st, 2014. And it is free to play, and this of course is called Loadout. Now, I was going to play a match or two and uh, see what the game was like before we were starting to record this video, but... I've been waiting, as you can see, for 5 minutes and 33 seconds trying to find a match. This is day one, and I've seen a lot of people on my friends list have downloaded the game and have been playing it. So I assume lots of people across the world, or at least North America, if they've had a, um, a launch that hasn't been an international one, and I don't know if it has or not, but I assume a lot of people are playing this, but for some reason it is a long wait time on getting in on the match. So let's just take this couple of minutes here, and if, if we'll get a match started, we will. If not, then I'll add on to this video once I figure out how to get a match started but let's look around here because it does let you multitask while you're doing this and the first thing that it will have you do when you come into the game is create a weapon and let me stop right there if you're still with me watching this video you need to know I can tell from the previews of this game it is extremely gory uh, so if gore bothers you then this is not the game nor the video for you it uh, seems to be over the top highly cartoon you know um, exaggerated but gory and disgusting nonetheless so just to let you know so you create a, uh, a weapon so let's say this weapon oh, let's trash it alright so we've deleted a weapon the first thing you do is you create a weapon and what do we have this one called And launcher of course I didn't spell launcher right we're searching for matches still you see up in the right right hand side so you create a, uh, a weapon and you choose what kind of weapon it's going to be in other words what type of chassis chassis so we had a launcher before we'll go and do that again but you can do a pulse or a beam uh, and of course or a rifle but we're going to go back to launcher and uh, we'll lock that in you can make changes to your weapon your different stock as you can see there's things we can unlock here later on different scope uh, different barrel and a different trigger so this also changes with what type of weapon you have some of the options that you have like magazines are going to be with the rifle but not with the launcher so uh, pretty interesting you create weapons and as you have new unlocks and stuff there'll be all kinds of uh, different things now if we weren't looking for a match right here we could go test the weapon and actually go to the shooting range and shoot uh, bots or just you know other characters that are just standing there or whatever um, but then once you create your weapons you go to your loadouts and your loadouts uh, is where you choose what character you want to be right now there are three choices uh, I'm assuming you can unlock other ones either with um, in-game currency or real money either way probably both uh, and then you choose your weapons it let me equip my the first weapon I made to both slots you can then also do a hand grenade now let's see um, now that would be interesting if it would let me equip the launcher. Where's where's the weapons? Okay, so we don't have the weapon anymore. We're gonna we're gonna test this out while we're waiting. And then after this, we'll go to um, look at a couple other options here. All right, now it's saved. Do you want to go to the loadout editor now? Yes. All right, so it looks like it's letting me take two weapons with me out. So this is loadout, loadout slot one. You probably could rename it there. Outfil Outfitter, of course, is where you uh, choose and potentially customize your character. You can rename them as well. But those are looks like those are all things that you have to do um, as you unlock things. Let's just try this and see what the options are. So you can make changes and you see everything has a has a, a um, currency attached to it and it looks like this is this currency actually is the real money currency and I don't know if the um, if you can earn real the, the this money here which you can purchase 600 coins for 99 cents 16,000 coins for twenty dollars I don't know if uh, you can also earn those in game or not there's also a 
different type of currency if you can see down here in the blue uh, so there are two currencies going on which are, are often for these free to play games you can go to the locker and this will show your statistics you can see that this is showing where you can unlock looks like new avatars uh, you can see that I have played zero matches so I am indeed sitting in the lobby for 10 minutes and 25 seconds without getting in yet there's also a tech tree this looks very cool as you progress you can use uh, and this would appear to be uh, the the in-game currency used to unlock different abilities in your tech tree uh, so this is pretty neat as well it's looks like it's gonna be separate for each type and then there's even something for equipment as well so lots of things to spend um, in terms of upgrading in the tech tree and then of course the store which we already saw a little bit of at least there's featured this is what's featured uh, XP and blue blute booster so blute must be the in-game currency and loadouts gun slots so getting more loadouts uh, and gun slots and then the avatars so that's pretty much it um, and we are still searching for a match so let's go ahead and pause this and I'll wait a little longer and if we can get into a match we'll show you what a match looks like okay so let's um, go ahead and cancel this I've done a little digging on the uh, community steam forums looks like there's a handful of people that have been able to play uh, but it looks like the servers are just not functioning as you might imagine a game that's been in alpha and beta stage with a few hundred players has now uh, graduated to free to play steam status I'm sure thousands and thousands of players attempting to uh, try out the newest greatest so uh, looks like we may not even get in tonight on a match so that's fine what I will show you here is with the weapon crafting we're gonna just take a look at um, possibly all types of weapons uh, as we see we load here on the test range and there's supposed to be people here with us up oh, here they come so you know right from the start you see it looks like a you know um, standard third person shooter with obviously highly animated graphics and a little bit vulgar um, and now let me show you what I'm talking about in terms of gore uh, and that's what I mean in terms of gore all kinds of craziness ensues and uh, they even have a moving target up here oh he's gonna keep running back and forth uh, so things get very gory around here um, and test range I was gonna see if it lets us pick up any other different types of weapons or if we just have to exit out so anyway this is the sort of standard rifle that you would use uh, if that's the type of gun you cr create now let's take a chest out the launcher and uh, first we'll just fire it up there and see what it looks like and as you can imagine there's some reload time here and it looks like we just hit them off of splash damage there and so one shot did not kill them with the launcher and we'll see if that is holding down shift does run control does do some sort of dive let's see if we can hurt ourselves we did hurt ourselves there so the launcher is powerful but uh, given the reload time uh, certainly might want some upgrades on damage to really make it worthwhile let's see what else we've got here oh let's trash that one yeah and let's try the pulse test out the pulse so again this is just standard fare without any upgrades F does do a melee attack as you see R reloads so that is your pulse weapon One more test here. Finally, we will give the beam weapon a test. There, I'm 
I'm gonna have a little bit of a hard time with the look at that that is very disturbing very very disturbing So, I apologize, this first video, we're actually going to not be able to feature any gameplay. But, I do think um, that we are able to get a sense of what the graphics are like. You can imagine what the gameplay may be like. And it's also a good first day update on, uh, hey, this is what you kind of expect. Especially a game that's going free to play and it's going to have the kind of volume of players. If there's not a really solid infrastructure you might expect that it's going to be hard to get in. And I'll try it later tonight as maybe less players are online trying to play. Uh, maybe we'll have some luck getting in and we can um, actually show you some gameplay. But uh, so far, this is what Loadout is looking like. If you are interested, you can find it on the Steam front page of the store. It is free to play. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. And until we have a little more to show with Loadout, we'll go ahead and cut this video off at this point. Thanks for watching.